Hello once more, I am CJU and allow me to welcome you to Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Now, as the name suggests, this game has heavy references to the works of writer H.P. Lovecraft, so if you're familiar with his mythos or maybe some stories in particular, you're probably going to love this. Uh, let's get started. New game, Boy Scout, Private Investigator, High Detective. These two I can't obviously choose because I haven't completed the game since I formatted probably. So, it's P.I. Now I know what you're thinking. This isn't Batman. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds. And it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. Okay. And we are in control. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, just moving with WAS and D. You seem to run everywhere. Yeah, okay, okay. You seem to run everywhere. And uh, is there a sneak option? Yeah. Press shift, you go into sneak mode, which is walking speed. So you have to sneak to walk. What's taking him so long? Something must be wrong. I'll be up in a minute. Officer Armstrong. 
Just take it easy. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. A bit twitchy? Try to stay calm. You better hurry, Jack. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay, let's go meet Victor. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Is this meant to happen? Oh, fuck. I don't have a weapon, do I? Hold on a sec. This is my inventory. Uh, let's just go through it. I've got my journal here, so I can have a look at my own diary. Uh, collation of evidence, mythos, tomes, and manuscripts. In fact, let's look at my diary. I've probably got something. Yeah, there you go. And as I usually do, um, I'm just going to give you a two-second window to pause the video and read it yourself. Okay. Right. Uh, no evidence. Okay. Um, here is my watch for game time. Not in-game time, but how long I've been playing. Uh, haven't got this yet, but this is sort of like a, a last resort um, painkiller, I suppose. Um, what would usually be here are my medical supplies. And how do I heal myself? I think I... Yes, I, I click on myself. And we've got this little table here. I, I select the part of the body, and then I select um, exactly what I want to heal it with. So splint, sutures, antidote, bandages, whatever. Um, okay. Right, let's go meet Victor. I don't have a weapon. This is going to suck. Where are you? Where is he? Oh, what's use? No, okay, it's not E. Oh, I see. Q and E, lean. Great. It's F. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's in here. Let's try this one. Uh. Well, that didn't take long. This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy. Yeah, it's meant to. Yeah, you use anything in this game, basically. It would pretty much tell you what he's thinking about it, so... Uh, a powerful painting of some cosmic horror. Yep. Uh, what's this on the blackboard? The board has been used to illustrate a diagram. Okay. Ah. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe. A doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. Well, yep, that's got Lovecraft written all over it. Okay, first journal item. Book icon, so go back to this, use the book icon. And that would be in general evidence? Yeah, but it's ticked because I've already read it. Yeah, okay. Okay, Victor's not in here, obviously. Um, through here. That's simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. That's a save point. I won't use it right now. No need. It's a loud grandfather clock. Uh, these two doors. It's locked. That one to the right, taking cover. Kill him. <laughs> okay. Okay, that door's locked. What about this one? It's locked. This one's also locked. Okay, locked, locked. And I'm not going through there anytime soon. So let's go up. I want to sort of stealth Keep about. Shooting. I don't have a weapon, and I'd rather not get my head blown off. What about these two doors. It won't open. I open. It won't budge. Won't budge. Fantastic. Okay, that one's blocked. Shit. Oh, he's wounded. Last. 
What? You seem to recognize me. I don't get it. What do I? Did you have a weapon? Oh, what the hell? Oh. Empty ammo boxes and spent shells. Nothing useful. God damn it. Oh, probably shouldn't look out the window. I'll probably get my head blown off. Uh, that wasn't Victor, was it? Might have been. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Poisoning by the looks of it. Poison. Well, don't know if you just saw that, but my vision's going a bit hazy. And that's because every time I see something disturbing, a bit like eternal darkness and amnesia and stuff, my uh, my vision gets blurred. He's dead. They're all dead. Yep, they're all dead. All, what, five of them? All poison, looks like. Can I pick this up? Yes. A diary. This will make interesting reading. Yeah, let's read it. Uh, no, not my diary. Diary of a cult member. Experiments below. He has come. Finally, it begins. Okay. Ah, so I can get my vision back. Right. Someone in here. That could be him. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Fantastic! Oh, blood's pouring all over the car. Can I pick up a shotgun? Damn! He recognized me. It sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. Yeah, and that would have been perfect if you hadn't fucking shot him, you cunts! <sighs> Hello. A key. This should help downstairs. A key. Right, so that will show up here. Great. Okay, yep, yeah, there's two locked doors downstairs. I'm going to see which one this fits into. Let's try this one. The key doesn't fit. Okay, must be this one, I guess. It's unlocked. Great. What's in here? Lots of photos. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? Uh, it must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I gotta think. Oh, my vision's blurring again. I'm panicking. Oh, God. There are a lot of photos, though. Way back here as well. And some here. What the hell is going on? It seems they've been tracking my movements. Okay, what have we got? Ah, uh, hello. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. It wasn't just a key, though, was there? Something else. It was a uh, newspaper. Can I read it? Mm, evidence, I suppose. Boston Globe. There we go. Okay, and I've got that other key with an L 
engraved on the head. There's only one locked door I can think of right now. So, let's try it. It's unlocked. Brilliant. Okay, it looks like a library. I hear someone groaning or moaning or something. Is that a mirror down there? Hey, it's me! Nice animations, Bethesda. Um, what's this? The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. Okay. Lephos? Yeah. Polyps. Great race of years. <laughs> yeah. Lovecraft is throughout this game, really. It's great. Right, I've got to find out where those uh, groans are coming from. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. And there should be a trap door down here. Yeah, there it is. Now, if you haven't guessed yet, I have played this game before. Shit. That did not sound good. Uh, Alright, let's get down there. Groaning stopped. Maybe I should be stealthy. Wow, what the fuck? Well, that's just swell. Okay. Uh, can't get back up. Great. Okay, what have we got down here? Oh. Oh, was that the guy that was screaming? He's dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Great. Well, hopefully that won't happen to me. But you never know. What the fuck? Medical charts on the human anatomy. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Yeah, you don't have to say that twice. Um, okay. <laughs> Just gets better and better. He is fucked. Good God! What the hell is all this? Looks like mm, the majority of his organs are in these containers. Kidneys. This pipe must drain <laughs> the waste from his intestines. Brain over there. And yet he's still alive, it looks like. Right. Okay, we got a green crystal here. Too hot to pick up. Just too hot to pick up, and we're going to need to pick that up in a sec. And I think the only way to cool it down is to, unfortunately, kill the guy with this button. Oh shit! Uh. Is he dead? He probably should be. At least he's out of his misery. Always look on the bright side of death. Right. The crystal's still warm. Right, I'm going to be needing that in a sec. Open this door up. This tunnel feels like it's going to collapse at any moment. Well, don't say that. The guy just a moment ago died from a beam falling down, and I almost had the same fate, so... I'll just keep looking up as I'm moving. Ah, here we go. Press this button. 
door opens up. <laughs> He's fucking crazy! Odd. It looks like it's full of mercury. <laughs> Odd. It looks like it's full of mercury. Fair enough. Um. Yeah. Now I need to put this crystal in here. There we go. There's a button over here. And I'm gonna push it. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it, probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no one else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. <laughs> uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? 
I'll be here all day anyway. Okay, we've got a new case, but we'll have to wait until video 2 because I've just noticed that this video is getting quite long. So, in video 2, we'll be going to Innsmouth and looking for Brian Burnham. Thanks for watching.